House Speaker Nancy Pelosi signed the more than $2 trillion bill to provide economic relief from the fallout of the coronavirus outbreak before sending it to the White House for the president's signature. The package gives up to $1,200 directly to most working Americans, expands unemployment insurance, provides hundreds of billions to businesses both big and small, and delivers immediate financial relief to hospitals. I object on the basis that a quorum is not present. Kentucky Republican Thomas Massey pressed for a recorded vote on the measure. I came here this week to make sure our republic doesn't die in an empty chamber by unanimous consent. But party leaders got the bill over the finish line with a voice vote. The motion is adopted. President Trump bashed Congressman Massey's objection on Twitter. He also used Twitter to call on General Motors and Ford to produce more ventilators. Ford says it's pulling out all the stops, and GM says it's working around the clock to meet the urgent need. At the same time, the president and some of his health experts are pushing back on estimates from some state and local leaders requesting more ventilators. The models in, in many cases are way off. Uh, New York City, we actually have people on the ground who have told us that there are a thousand ventilators sitting in a warehouse right now that haven't been used. President Trump says he's still assessing ways to get parts of the country back to work, but his top health officials say the data will determine those decisions. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.